Antimicrobial resistance is a major challenge around the world. And it's a challenge because we continue to see the emergence of more and more dangerous bacteria and infections. One day, I'm afraid, it's inevitable that we are going to come up against a bacteria for which we don't have effective treatments. The incentives for research in this field have really diminished, mostly because the market no longer rewards innovation in antibiotic research properly. We need to take this seriously. It's a challenge that the pharmaceutical industry wants to be part of solving. It's our laboratories and our scientists who are the people who will be capable of solving this problem. And what we're committed to is to work together with other stakeholders to find a new approach, an approach which allows this research to be re-stimulated, restarted, and allows us to be successful in re-equipping our medicine chests with effective antibiotics which will be available on the day we need it so that when we do have a fundamental bacterial challenge we are able to protect our citizens. FPIA, which is the association representing the pharmaceutical research-based companies in Europe and all of the national associations, has the potential to play a tremendous brokerage role to bring together those research laboratories and the scientists who are capable of making progress together with, for example, the Commission and the Innovative Medicine Initiative as one example, to find ways in which we can better collaborate to ensure that we get the right incentive for innovation, we put in place the right safeguards to make sure that new antibiotics are developed to not just be safe and effective, but then get used in a way which ensures that we minimize the chance of resistance to new agents and we maximize the chance for us to have effective treatments available in the event of a crisis need.